So the book of Boba Fett just came out. And yeah, I'm feeling really mixed on this show. Before I get into it, I do not have the same problems with this show like other people. Your average Book of Boba Fett hater will say things like, Boba Fett talks too much in this show. He takes his helmet off. He doesn't kill everybody. He's too clumsy. It's boring. He becomes a Tusken Raider and that's not Boba. Han doesn't show up. He calls his ship the Fire Spray instead of Slave One. Disney is taking violence away from Star Wars. Look, I could come up with others that I've heard, but I think some of these reasons can be a little silly. It's hard to talk about this without spoilers, so I'm gonna do a quick little one minute of no spoilers and then I'm gonna dig a little deeper. See, my main problem with this whole series is that it has a strong lack of focus. It seems like Disney has no idea what they want to do with this character. Boba actually has an arc in this, but they really don't do much with it. I really like the idea that he kind of softens up and relies more on respect rather than vengeance, but they don't take it anywhere far or past mildly interesting. This show also has very poor pacing in certain episodes. Uh, one nitpick is that this is the first Star Wars show where I thought the CGI kinda looked bad. This is not a critique, this is me just nitpicking, and I can let this slide, especially since Disney Star Wars properties have never really looked bad. They would for sure put the budget where it needed in later episodes, and you'll know what I'm referencing to uh, if you have seen the series, and it looks very good, it looks very solid. Also, they're working on like 15 shows right now, so like I said, it gets a pass, it's just something I've noticed. Also, this is not Boba Fett's show. I think I would be less mad if they didn't name the whole show about him because dog there are two full episodes where it's just about the Mandalorian and some giant legacy Star Wars characters. What hurts more was that those were my favorite episodes out of this whole season. It's not because I like the Mandalorian way more, they were just paced better and they were written better than the previous Book of Boba Fett episodes. It's a shame because I wanted a whole show just about Boba Fett and you can't really skip this if you like the Mandalorian because you have to watch this series because it answers that for you and it wraps up some big plot lines. One last thing, I thought if we had a good finale, I could have given this series kind of a pass but I was very disappointed with that finale. It had some okay and cool moments but overall, Man, it just felt like a very rushed wrap-up about this series. Okay, that's all I can really talk about without spoilers, so if you haven't seen it, well, if you like Mandalorian, I guess you have to watch it. So leave and come back so I don't spoil the book above it, or I'll just call it Mandalorian Season 2.5. I'll also be spoiling things from Mandalorian Season 2, specifically the finale, so that is your warning. Okay, we are in spoilers, so I hope you're gone. Let's talk about the things I did like, okay? I'm being a little too mean. Boba Fett being a part of the Tusken Raider tribe is awesome. That is so cool to me, and I love that whole storyline. It shows the start of his character growth, and I don't think it shows it enough, but at least we get it, and it's a storyline I didn't think I'd like as much as I did. The entirety of the Mandalorian storyline in this series was great. So good that it completely took over Boba Fett's mediocre show. I just think the writers know exactly what they want to do for Din Djarin, but have no idea what they want for Boba Boba Fett. The episodes on the Mandalorian were really well paced, they had good moments, and I was literally only bothered by the fact that Boba Fett was not in those episodes. The episode with Luke was absolutely amazing. The CGI looks really good. Some shots are a little janky, but hey, it's way better than the season 2 finale of Mandalorian. I gotta say, the only problem I have is just the voice. Mark Hamill came in for the finale of season 2, but now it's just an AI, and that's why it kind of sounds a little bland, especially during emotional moments, it kind of just sounds like a bland Luke. I mean, for an AI talking, it's insane and amazing, but we're just not there when it comes to getting it perfect. We are close, though. The episode with Luke, though, actually made me tear up a little bit. Seeing Luke again with this green saber just made me feel like a little kid again, and that's what Star Wars is all about. Good stories, and getting that inner child of you to come out. Like, it's just so good, why is it the book of Boba Fett, and not just called, like, I don't know, Star Wars. I, don't, I, I really just can't get my mind wrapped around that. I never thought I'd ever see Ahsoka and Luke meet, but here we are, and it's really strange honestly, but I love it. I just want them to do a little team up one day. Alright, let's talk more about Boba Fett, which this series is definitely not about. Uh, but back on his like Tusken Raider storyline, when Boba has that little lizard go up his nose, I thought that was sick, and like that's the kind of stuff I want in my Star Wars, like give me more psychedelic drug trip weird fantasy stuff. I just thought that was absolutely cool. Also, Cad Bane is so cool, and he looked really good. You know, I was a little sad they killed him off so fast, but that's okay. And honestly, if he's still alive, I'm gonna be a little pissed. Star Wars needs to leave characters dead. So many have come back, and I'm really getting over how many characters are coming back from the dead. I do think there was a missed opportunity by having Cad Bane kill off the Tusken Raiders, and then having Boba rematch him, but not let his emotions get the best of him and, and like disarm him, but I, I don't know how I'd feel about that either. I think the whole series just could have been reformatted and rewritten differently. Like, there are stuff in this I should like, but felt indifferent about. 
The seismic charges always get me giddy, but when they do in this show, I don't know, I, they just didn't feel like they used to. I'm coming to the conclusion that this show just isn't exciting. If it just retitled and had a better pace, I think it'd be really cool like Tales from the Cantina, or Stories of Tatooine, hell, or even just fucking call it Star Wars. And don't get me started on that finale. Like, those robot things did not feel menacing at all. Compare this finale to The Mandalorian Season 1, hell, even Season 2. I have my issues with Season 2's finale, but it's way cooler and more exciting than this one. Maybe save your finales for Deborah Chow. She really knows what she's doing. I'm not going to lie, I don't really think Robert Rodriguez really knows what he wanted from this script either. Like, in Mandalorian Season 2, he knew exactly how he wanted Boba Fett to come back, but giving him a whole show? I just don't know how that's really working out for him. Also, for the people that are going to say that Kathy Kathleen Kennedy ruined this. Everybody's beloved John Favreau wrote this series. I love the man a lot, and I think he's a great writer, and he has my utmost respect for being a legend of the game, but I'm not cutting him slack on this, and neither should you. Even Grogu's little story felt rushed. They could have just waited for Mandalorian Season 3 to answer it, and I think that suspense would have worked better for me. The Rancor was cool. That's all I really got. It makes sense for Boba to not get his fire spray because I believe those robots are anti-aircraft. The aim is absolutely horrible on these robots though. Like I never complain about that kind of stuff, but god, just wide open shots completely missing. And I don't know, maybe a higher casualty number could have made a better finale and maybe could have future ramifications of Boba Fett in this town. Maybe that could have done something, I don't know. They also bring in the huts and really just don't do anything with them. Like I expected to see them again, and the pikes don't feel like the main threat. I don't need a twist in my Star Wars, but I don't know, this show just points in areas where it could go and just decides to not go in those areas. I love Tamara Morrison though, but I feel that what he is given isn't enough for him to really perform. I feel bad for him a little bit. They make Boba speak more and take off his helmet, and it still feels like he's given less to do. A lot of people are hating on that little biker gang. I didn't like them, but I don't know. It doesn't enrage me like it does for some of these people. They just reminded me of that goofy Spider-Man Unlimited series. Like, even the music it sounds exactly the same as the soundtrack for them. Looking for another roommate? Oh, music? I even think the music is taking a step back, which is horrific after hearing some of the music from The Mandalorian and then hearing the music for Book of Boba Fett. <laughs> I'm going on too much. There's just a lot to talk about, and I think I've gotten my point across. This series could have been a lot better in my mind, and it should have if it was just given more time and had better focus. Uh, 5 out of 10? Yeah, I'm gonna give it that. It's average, with amazing stuff and some real gunk in between the amazing and the good. If you like Mandalorian, you kinda have to watch this to understand what happens at the end of it, so, you know. Who cares what my rating is, you kinda have to watch it. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this video. I got a new Big Machinima plan, so expect news on that soon and hopefully I can get a trailer out maybe within the next month or two. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.